Subscribe to Extreme Droid channel and press this bell icon and be the first to watch the latest tips and tricks videos. The Resurrection Remix is one of the most popular aftermarket ROMs available for dozens of Android devices. The ROM is quite popular among the users due to its stability, performance, excellent battery backup and most importantly its customization capabilities through which you can customize almost every aspect of your device, more on that in the later part of the video. Now, recently I installed this ROM on my Redmi Note 4X and I was testing it since about a week and I found that the ROM was very stable, everything is working just fine and the battery backup is just insane. So this is a video of me of sharing my experience with the Resurrection Remix ROM and is it the best custom ROM available for Redmi Note 4 or 4X? Let's find out. Now the Resurrection Remix ROM is basically a remix of the best features found in AOKB Lineage and Paranoid Android ROMs, meaning you will get the best of all. So now let's start with the UI. On the first boot, you will get the option to choose between two different launchers. The first one is the old school double chat launcher and the other one is, as you might have already guessed, the pixel launcher, which is nowadays a default launcher in most of the custom ROMs and this one is directly ported from the upcoming Android O. But I personally prefer to use my all-time favorite Nova launcher as it provides steep level of customization which enable me to change every aspect of my home screen. The home screen is quite stockish as well as the rest of the UI. In my usage of one week, I didn't face any lag while switching between the apps and the overall experience is just buttery smooth. Overall in terms of UI, there is nothing really eye-catching or unique about Resurrection Remix until you entered the configuration menu in settings. If you know your way around, I can be sure you would have no trouble changing the UI to look the way you want. There are numerous settings here for you to tinker with and if this is your first time using a feature pack custom ROM like Resurrection Remix, you might be overwhelmed at just how much you can change. If you love customization, this configuration menu is what heaven would be like. From what happened when you double tap your home button to letting any text be displayed in your Android status bar, there is next to nothing you cannot change. Even the little things you never thought you would want to play around with like the animation when you toggle a quick setting can be changed and you will love it. So in short, you can customize the status bar, notification panel, recent menu, quick setting, lock screen, gestures, navigation key, animations, interface and some miscellaneous ones. Whoa, that's not short man, not at all. I can make a whole 10 minute video in explaining just the features and customization that this ROM has to offer. Moving forward to its performance and battery life. The performance of Resurrection Remix is actually far better than the stock MIUI ROM and that's why now I am using this ROM as my daily driver due to its stability. The quicker animations of this ROM make things look better as compared to a stock MIUI ROM and personally I don't like these highly skinned Android version like MIUI as they consume much more RAM than the stock one and that's the reason why Resurrection Remix ROM feel very light and snappy. Everything on this ROM is working like a charm, like the fingerprint scanner, camera and for those who are wondering that Volti is working or not, then yes, it's working just fine. Talking about its battery life, which I think is insane. As before installing this ROM, I was using the stock MIUI 8.2 ROM, which has a very good battery life. But after using this ROM, I can clearly say that this ROM has far better battery backup than the stock ROM. In my day-to-day -day usage, which include couple hours of gaming, zipping between different social media apps and normally taking some calls, I was easily getting more than 7 hours of screen on time which is quite enough to get me running throughout a day and still about 30% of juice is left. So all in all, the ROM is pretty stable to use this as your daily driver and I didn't encounter any bug or random reboots in my testing period. There is no doubt that the Resurrection Remix is one of the best custom ROM available and the best thing that I liked about this ROM is the large community and the updates are very constant. So if you are looking for a ROM that offers tons of customization options and it still gives you a stock experience then I will highly suggest you to install this ROM and you won't regret. So guys that's it for this video. If you wanna see more custom ROM videos on Redmi Note 4 or 4X then do let me know that in the comment section. And if you like this video then do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So this is Samir signing off and I'll see you guys in my next one.